So far, we have been implemented our supplier, processor and consumer for the credit card application. And we also deployed our supplier, processor and consumer in Spring Cloud Dataflow Server. In this session, we shall look into how can we handle the exceptions. As for example, if some publisher or some application publish a wrong payload into the message queue, then how can we handle it in the consumer side? And how can we track what are the events that are failed? We shall do this using dead letter queue. Before that, let's simulate such scenario. In our case, we cannot do it from our applications because we have not developed any JUnit, but we shall directly publish the message into the Rabbit MQ to simulate this scenario. In our case, we shall simulate that the credit card verification service publishes a wrong payload and how credit card generation service needs to deal with this. So here, let's publish a payload. And since we are not publishing it from the supplier, so only credit card details tables record will be inserted. Now make some change in this format. We remove the code and it is an invalid JSON. Let's bring the console here and publish the message. So we are in the credit card verification and we publish the message. Let's see, uh, we get an exceptions here. And no records are inserted into our database because we encountered an exceptions or error. Let's look back into our queues and in the queues, there is no pending event. Since our consumer is already consumed this event, it is removed from the Revit MQ. And also due to exceptions, we are unable to insert data into the database. So we completely lost track of the event. We agree we have some log, but we can it is difficult to track. So this is not a desirable scenario in production. And we need to keep track of the events which are failed due to whatsoever reason. This can be done using dead letter queue. And in Spring Cloud Data Flow, sorry, in Spring Cloud Stream, we can add the dead letter queue just by adding few properties in our application.yml. So let's do it now. First, we stop our credit card generation service and clear everything. And here we add few properties. It is Rev Spring Cloud Stream, Revit, Bindings, and then the channel name. The channel name is the generated credit card IN0. And it is a consumer, so we use consumer followed by the property auto bind DLQ true. That's the only change we need to do to add the dead letter Q support. Now let's clean up and also we need to delete the credit card verification queue before we start our credit card generation service otherwise dead letter queue will throw an error so 
let's run it and you can see the dead letter queue has been created along with credit card verification queue now let's publish the event message again i have created this one so i shall put this in the description so that well, uh, it is easy to get and i just remove a quote here so that it becomes an invalid json and then we publish it let's clean the log console and just arrange a bit so that we can uh, watch both right yeah it's here so let's make it down we are ensure that we are in the right queue yes credit card verification queue credit card verification and let's publish this one so we get the error in the credit card generation that is in the consumer but in this case you can see there is a message in the dead letter queue let's quickly publish another and this time we make the error in the address and publish it and refresh the queue there are two messages in the queue and there is error in the console now since the message in the dead letter queue we can retrieve it let's check these messages and these are the messages so as the messages are in the dead letter queue based on the business requirement we can process these messages uh, the way business wants maybe we can log these things or we can add those things uh, into a database so that we can generate the report or do the corrective action whatever the business wants so this way we can add dead letter queue and we can handle the exception which results due to incorrect payload format so thank you thanks for your time and please like share and subscribe we shall meet into the next session thank you